Come back to my garden. So, we've been out. I'm just collecting up some wood. Probably it'll work here. I'm in your lunch box. I've been out and I've had a bit of a piss about down the wood. Uh, I thought I'd bring a few bits back to play with. Yeah. Nice little hawthorn, as you can see. This should give it a nice good test. A little bit of willow and some ash. So, to point out, this is, this is dead full. I picked this up. It's been out, it's quite tough. Hmm. Yeah, well, as you can see. Happy with that. Do a bit more because oh, yeah. my fire bucket's not that small, so it's a bit there. Mm. Alright, I'll point out I'm not on many safe places for the rest of these, so we're just going to leave it for the fire. Happy with that? Halfway through, won't it? Two different places. First one you can see. Nice clean cut there. Can't go wrong. Right. Bit of As you see through the video, I was having a nice little play at the other one. As you can see, I'm saving the hawthorn from the uh, Sorry, it's not a hawthorn, it's blackthorn. Saving the blackthorn for last. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm swinging my leg out of the way because I'm worried I'm going to catch my leg with this thing. <laughs> That's an absolute thing. Please try not to cry whilst I do this, Kev. Right. This is <laughs> a nice tufty piece of wood. So, are we ready? See the nice tight rings on that? Look. It's a lovely wood. I'm actually going to go carve some spoons out of this in a second. Let me see how tough that is. That's a nice hard wood. And I'm hardly hitting that, as you see. Hands choked up onto the bit, on the foot, onto the handle, on the blade, on the neck. And I just gently. Yeah, I'm round. Yeah, not full swings. Yeah, back of that knife. And again, not full swings. But you can see just how nicely that tears into it. Yeah. Right, just remembering the whole time, I'm supporting this. You know, so it's not, not, I'm not willing to do full swings.
So shave sharp. Dare I try and take skin off my leg with it again? I'm not sure I've got enough hair on my leg to shave with it again. Anyway. Hopefully you can still see it. We are. Let's check the camera angle, shall we? Yeah. Halfway through, one time. I'm glad I get my accuracy right. I should be able to get that two swings. Oh, maybe not. Okay, keep your fingers clear all the time. Just so you can have a rough guide. Sink it in some more and keep going. You've got to be very careful with these, I find that the convex head is very, very sharp. Sometimes hard to gauge when you're trying to shave yourself with it. Smooth as a baby's ass. Oh, we'll go into the sheath now, shall we? As you can see, I've met a sheath on the back. On a belt. Easy removal, easy fitting. Now it's designed as a pack carry. Comes with a Kydex sheath. Easy in, easy out. I've put the power cord on myself and I've looped the belt for it. Tire tube, obviously, range of bands as most people call them. And I've left it inside a climbing carabiner. You know, you can ask why, I'm going to explain. At any point in time, I can then connect the carabiner to any part of the power cord, hang it off my belt any way I see fit. Just as a dangler, I can hang it from my pack, I can stick it in my pack, I can have it on the belt. Yeah, universal carry. It never goes amiss to have a carabiner. I also might stick more power cord around like I have done with my survival knife. Maybe even put in a small survival kit or you know, maybe a small bushing knife so then I can just take that and that's the only tool I'll need. As you can see, a bit of processing that I've done here and down up at the woods and it's still shaved sharp. Again, I won't, I'll do the same as what I've done with the brada. I won't sharpen them, I'll just clean the blades and we'll see how long the edge retention lasts for. Keep watching. <laughs> 